Hello there again, dear friends, and welcome to section three of our Instagram Marketing 3.0 video training series, Advanced Instagram Marketing Strategies. So far, we are glad about the progress that we are making in this endeavor. In the previous section, we showed you what Instagram marketing was actually like, step by step, the easy way. And in this section, we are going to teach you how to manage your Instagram insights, how to use Instagram as a microblogging platform for maximum reach how to shoot great Instagram videos, how to snap great Instagram photos, some advanced Instagram marketing advice from the experts, and how to use the direct feature for killer engagement, Instagram Insights. Now, let's start with Instagram Insights, which is Instagram's built-in analytics tool, which you can use to analyze your performance and the behavior of your followers. Accessing your Instagram Insights is as simple as tapping on the profile icon on the lower right side of the screen. Then going to the upper right corner on your device's screen and tapping on the graph-like icon. Welcome to your analytics section. Here are some where you will be able to see how well you are performing in your marketing efforts. Here you will be able to review in detail metrics such as number of followers, views, and others. Let's start checking out this section from top to bottom. As you can see here, right below your profile's icon, you will be able to see two metrics, the number of followers that you have and the current number of posts that you have published so far. Those two metrics are based on your activity from the last seven days, which is important because that will allow you to know how well you were engaging people in relation to the number of posts that you publish during the span of a week. All right, let's check the metrics feature below. The first metric featured is impressions, which is the total number of views that you have gotten across your entire Instagram channel, or in other words, the total number of views from your posts, your images, your videos, and your profile. By swiping to the left, you will be able to see your reach, or the number of unique views that you have gotten in the last seven days. Swiping to the left once more will show you your number of profile views, or the number of views that you have gotten on your profile in the last seven days. Let's now move to the follower section. In this section, you will get detailed demographic insights of your followers but you will need to get at least 100 followers before you are able to get this detailed demographic overview. Below is the post section, where you will be able to check how your posts are performing on an individual level, as they will be arranged from left to right, sorted by the individual number of impressions on each one. In the story section, you will get insights on the performance of your Instagram stories. Make sure to tap on turn on to be able to get stories insights on this section. Note though that stories are visible to other users for 24 hours only, which means that stories insights gather data from a 24 hour period only. Lastly, in the promotion section, you'll be able to check your promoted post's performance. A recommendation is to come back on a daily basis to the insight section to see how your Instagram marketing efforts go so you can make the appropriate adjustments to better optimize your campaigns.